Welcome back everyone. It is 718 on our Friday morning and this month we are celebrating here on the CW by going beyond the rainbow. The San Diego Black LGBTQ Coalition has already kicked off Pride with a bang this weekend and they're getting started and it's going to be an exciting weekend. So join us live to talk about tomorrow's events at Riches, San Diego's number one gay nightclub is the lovely bearded black activist queen Amber St. James and two members of the first all male majorette team on the West Coast, Contrell Hill and Marvin Cooks. Thank you three for being with us this morning. Yes. Yes. How's it going? Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. Well, it's going to be a very big weekend, right? Oh yes. my God. This is going to be the most massive weekend that has ever happened. <laughs> okay. They're coming to bring back excellence. So, I mean, of course, we're talking about uh, riches tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very busy. But also want to start off just by saying uh, Black Pride, third annual. It's going to be huge in San Diego. Uh, what's the importance of having black pride within the LGBTQ community? I mean, honestly, it's creating spaces for so many of our own communities that really don't get our voices heard, right? Especially with everything that's currently happening within the political sphere, as black folks in America, with police brutality and all the other things. And we just wanted to create a space that was about joy, that was about the, the resilience of what it means to be black and queer, baby! Tell us about <laughs> how you all got into what you're doing. You are both dancers. Amber, tell us how you got into performing. Yeah, what's, what's your of story course. Like? So, uh, you know, long story short, because I can stand here and speak all day, <laughs> but I saw these amazing queer folks that were engaging in drag, and for me, I was like, oh my God, I want to be able to do something like that. I want to be able to inspire people to be their most authentic selves, and I think I'm doing a very I fabulous job. I think you job. are, too. I agree. <laughs> and how about you guys? Dancing? Uh, how long have you been dancing? How'd you get into it? So, I've been dancing for about 13 years throughout, you know, high school, college, and middle school, but, um, you know, I came out here to San Diego after the Navy okay. and um, I met you know King yeah and I was like hey our producer um, King <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> hey King but um I met him and I just thought like hey like this is really nice to embrace our culture yeah. in these spaces and show like our representation and see how you know we can make other people feel welcome right you know what I'm saying and how about you um I've been dancing for like a couple months now okay um, you're fresh in the scene I like it <laughs> Yeah, I posted a video on Instagram and King saw it, mm -hmm. and he asked me to be part of the all male majorette team. And I was like, oh, this would be cool like, uh, to bring like some HBCU culture to exactly. San Diego. So. Exactly. Well, and I think that's the biggest part is being able to uh, bring in that diversity and to show that intersectionality you know, of, of multiple uh, races and religions. And we know that that is always necessary. Within the LGBTQ community, there are still so many other minority groups that exactly. need to have their space. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense. Um, tomorrow, Riches. Yeah. Oh, it's going down. We are Tell so us. Excited. Oh my God. So it's going to be an entire day long celebration of black excellence, black resilience, black renaissance, if you will. Um, and I will actually be hosting the Mixed Black Pride pageant, which is the first of its kind. Uh, this is actually the third year that we'll be doing it. It is a gender neutral, exciting pageant that is just filled with so much beauty. And I'm just so excited to see what what's going to bring this year. And that includes a dance performance, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, so it does. We're going to be showcasing our all male, first time ever on the West Coast um, dance team. And there are going to be some special guests performing with Ooh, us as well. So I like it. You performed that. last night, right? <laughs> yes. And we have a video from that performance. So we want to yes. give you a little sneak preview. If you're going to be maybe heading out to Riches this upcoming weekend, uh, what to expect. Take a look.
little sneak preview there. <laughs> Spicy. Yeah, I like it. Uh, <laughs> for this weekend, uh, tomorrow specifically, do people need to buy tickets in advance? Can they just show up to Riches? So I believe that pe uh, people can show up and yeah. uh, buy their tickets online yeah. or they can come in person. Either or, oh, we are options. always down and ready for a good time. And so. uh, you also, there are also going to be more events over the course of the weekend. Oh, just absolutely. Black Pride, Black Renaissance, as you yes. mentioned. So a lot going on. You all stoked for this weekend? Yes. Super oh, excited. absolutely. And then next weekend is Pride in San Diego. Yes. Right? So it's just a good two weeks of fun, fabulous. A lot going on. A whole month of celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to the three of you for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Exciting. Good luck with the weekend. Yes. Very excited to hear more about it. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more here on CBS 8 Mornings on The CW.